I'm Isabel and welcome to another weekendly reading vlog. I don't know if you can hear the rain outside, but yeah, it's raining right now, so it feels kind of cozy, but I am a little bummed because it was so sunny this morning, then all of a sudden, now it's like super gray and drizzling. And I was actually dressed for the summer. Yeah. Now I have to wear a hoodie and a cardigan and I put on some tights as well, so. <sighs> it is September, but whatever. I'm gonna go out for dinner later, but right now I have some time to read, so I'm gonna go do that. white spot Shaquille's in the washroom they seated us separately because it was super busy and now my family's over there <laughs> Back definition. Hi. <laughs> what kind of waving is that? I don't know. Oh, this is a cool line. Um, they're talking about different beliefs and magic in Arnes or Arns, which is where um, the London is in Red London. Lila goes, it doesn't bother you that everyone believes different things. And he goes, why should it? He asked. We all believe the same thing, really. We simply give it different names. Hardly a crime. Lila snorted. If only people in her world took such a forgiving stance. <sighs> oh my god, exciting things are happening and 
I was freaking out and uh, I just love Lila so much. She's so she's such a cool character and she's so 3D in my mind. Like I can tell how she would act in a lot of situations probably and that's when you know a character is real for you. Uh, and it just occurred to me how she's like Korra from The Legend of Korra, part two of the Avatar series and yeah that makes me like her even more because she's like Korra, she's quite hot-headed and um, she's looking for adventure, doesn't want to be tied down, stuff like that. <sighs> and I was um, telling someone before that the magic in this is kind of like Avatar because there's elemental magic, which is my favorite kind of magic, and some people don't have any magic at all, but some have mastery of one element, some have two, some have three. I think there's five elements in this book. But anyway, the Antari, like Kel, the main character, um, they have mastery of all the elements, so that's like the Avatar, right? <sighs> and it's just great. I'm just, I'm still in my Avatar kind of withdrawal phase. I just love it so much. I love Elemental Magic, like I said, and that was just such a good series. So to find kind of even a little nugget of that experience in this is really cool. Um, but of course, it's really good in its own right. This is probably going to be a five star read, I'm predicting. And also, um, when I was editing the vlog where I was reading A Darker Shade of Magic, I noticed that I talked so much about exposition and it was annoying me so much because I could not stop talking about it and I think it hampered my enjoyment of the book a little bit because I was analyzing it too much. Like I said, I'm studying, uh, I almost said I'm studying magic right now, <laughs> I wish. Like I said, I'm studying writing right now and at the time I was reading about exposition and I was really thinking about it in terms of what I was reading at the time. Both books that I was reading at the time, A Darker Shade of Magic and Angel Fall, they both had a lot of exposition but I was okay with it in our darker shade of magic and I wasn't okay with it in Angel Fall and I ended up DNFing Angel Fall like not finishing it so and I wasn't sure why I was okay with one and not the other so I've come to a conclusion a lot of exposition is fine if it doesn't make itself intrusive to the reader once the reader starts thinking okay this is too much information then it's bad so for a darker shade of magic I don't think I would have noticed it if I wasn't studying it because it was giving us all the information that we needed about the world, like necessary information about the politics, the history, the way the magic was working, the relationship between all the different lands that we covered. And uh, it was really good because it was doing it in the thoughts of Kel, the main character, so I wouldn't have noticed it if I wasn't studying it at the time. But for Angel Fall, it was just... It was overkill. Yeah? Hey, yeah? Hi, dog. Hello, I'm vlogging right now, but go on. Oh. It's okay, I'll fast forward this part. Sure, dog. What's up? So, I have a question on grammar here. Yeah. Um, okay, so where was I before my brother came in? I think I was talking about Angel Fall. So, yeah, the thing with Angel Fall was that I think the descriptions were just too much. So, there would be sentences like, he squinted as if trying to decide whether I was telling the truth or not you know, where she'd be guessing what the other characters were thinking and it was just a little too much because I think as a reader you'd have been able to infer that from whatever's being described already. So that kind of annoyed me about it. But that said, the premise is still really cool. So if you're into angels and end of the world kind of YA stories, then you might still find it interesting. I just couldn't take it anymore. But yeah, it sounded cool. And my friend really enjoyed it, so... But yeah, I've totally lost my train of thought of what I was saying before, but know this, I'm loving it. Five star read predicted. I love Lila. I love everyone, actually. There isn't one character that annoys me. I love everyone. Oh yeah, I really like the use of poetry in this book as well. That wasn't in the first one. But also Rai's development as a character is really good in this one too. Um, he's getting a lot more depth to him because in the first one we only we just saw him here and there and honestly like he was charming enough to make an impression on me uh, even in the first book when you only saw him a little bit here and there I liked him already and now we're getting to see his concerns, his strengths, his weaknesses 
It's really good. I also mentioned in my last last vlog about how I wanted to know more about the Londons and also the world beyond and we're definitely getting that in this one so I'm so happy and it's also explaining more about the magic of the world and the beliefs of the people so that's just so cool it's really rounding out the world no complaints about this book so far I think I've loved everything like every little thing that's been introduced I'm just like so good oh, I'm very happy <laughs> <laughs> I love Kel and Roy together oh my god okay there was just a really really cool line and I love it so much and I'm gonna read it to you I do not know why you two are circling each other like stars it is not my cosmic dance but I do know that you come asking after one another when only a few strides and a handful of stairs divide you the writing in this book is so beautiful Five star predicted still. There's another good line that I found. It goes, Hang this, she thought. What a waste of life to stand around and think so much on every little thing. A very short line, but one that cuts deep. Ah! Oh my god, okay, so my friend's at the BTS concert and she sent me this. In case you can't tell, my bias is G-Men. Thank you, Jane. Oh, also, look what I have. Ah, it's the postcards, the commemorative postcards that Common Spence did for the read-along. Um, I think it was like the first 28 people or something like that. I remember typing so fast because I wanted it. Why am I spinning? <laughs> I remember typing so fast because I wanted this so bad. Um, and then once I pressed submit I was like wait did I put my address in right but <laughs> I did and I was so happy when I got this it shows Cal wearing his coat my favorite thing it's just really cool and then in the back it says Isabel thank you so much for coming to the live show come and Spence oh so cool and look at these graphics though and it has his logo and then a darker shade of read-alongs. Very, very cool. I think I want to put this up on my wall because I'm just loving making YouTube videos so much and doing reading vlogs and stuff like that. This will be like, like a souvenir, kind of. And I kind of want to collect the other two, so we shall see. But yeah, I'm going to put this up. Ta-da! Is it on straight? I can't tell anymore. But it looks really good. I'm so happy. 